Neil. Neil. Hmm. Are you listening? I'm taking this dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure you checked it? Yeah, I did, I did. Neil, you're lost again. I'm saying something. Hmm, hmm. Oh, uh, guys, I'm so sorry about this. But this is exactly what happens when you watch your favorite content on the AMOLED display of the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G. Don't trust me? Here's why. High contrast ratio, vivid color reproduction, low battery consumption, comfortable viewing outdoors, smooth scrolling and a snappy gaming input. I'm out of breath, but definitely not out of the things to tell you about the amazing display on the all new Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G. What's up guys, this is Nilanjan and welcome to another episode of the Redmi Project. In today's episode, I want to talk to you about the AMOLED display on the all new Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G. In the last episode of the Redmi Project, I spoke to you about the difference between LCD and AMOLED. If you haven't yet watched the video, here's a card for you to watch it. Now, let's get to it, shall we? So I'm a big movie buff, especially horror movies. You remember those scenes when there's a ghost hiding somewhere in the corner? Well, on the AMOLED display, that dark corner is actually dark. Which brings me to the first point of AMOLED displays, that is having a higher contrast ratio. On an AMOLED display, you get whites that are brighter and blacks that are deeper. All of this enhances the overall picture and video quality. Wherever there is a dark area on the screen, the pixels on an AMOLED display automatically turn themselves off, which reduces your overall battery consumption as well. This means, of course, that you can consume more content on the go. While we are on the subject of consuming content on the go, don't you absolutely hate it when you step out into the sun and you can't read anything on your display? I know, I know, a lot of us have been there. But you're never gonna face that issue with the Redmi Note's AMOLED display because this display comes with a peak brightness of 1200 nits, making it extremely legible and a clear display to use even under direct sunlight. Sometimes while you're indoors, in low light situations, the display can also effectively adapt to dimmer brightness settings. And now while we're talking about consuming content, you want an experience that lets you scroll through content effortlessly and easily. I'm happy to share that the AMOLED display on this phone also comes with a whopping 120Hz refresh rate, making content consumption an incredibly satisfying and smooth experience. To effectively illustrate my point, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done before. Here's me juggling a ball at 60Hz versus 120Hz. Hopefully that experiment has given you a sense of how a 120Hz AMOLED display gives you a richer, smoother experience. As a result of this, gaming on the phone, watching movies and in general scrolling through all the different applications that you have on your Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G is a lot more optimized and smoother. Now assuming you have an AMOLED display by now, how do you maximize its true potential? Well, here are my top tips to take advantage of your AMOLED display on your Redmi Note device. So guys, there you have it. Those were all the amazing things that you can do on the AMOLED display of your Redmi Note. As of this very moment, you can choose over seven amazing Redmi Notes that come with AMOLED displays. We also just became the number one AMOLED display smartphone brand. AMOLED has given me so many reasons to switch to the dark side, AKA dark mode. 
than Darth Vader ever did. For people who haven't switched yet, I hope this video convinces you. Please do share this with a friend who you think should watch this. And for people who already have, welcome to the AMOLED side.